Hello. I just woke up and I wanted to make this video really quick. Um, I didn't just wake up, but I wish I could have filmed it, but my camera's out of battery and it was sort of like a bad situation, which was I woke up and I, both of my ears really hurt. Now I have had snap plugs in, in the, let me see. In the 2.3 size for about a week and they were fine <clears throat> and I woke up this morning and I was like oh man my ear my ears both of them really hurt I wonder why because you know it's been a week and it's been going great and I touched them and I realized that the back pieces of each both of them had fallen off in my sleep. Now, I was going to wait to talk about it when I reviewed the entire kit because it did happen in the original uh, size, like the 2.1, I think it was, and I was like, oh, it must be a defect. Nope, it happened again. And so in my sleep, the plug had gone halfway through my ear, and so the ridge, like this part, this plastic, like that little shelfy thing, that piece right there was sitting like inside my earlobe and I don't know how long it had been there, but I guess that's why it was hurting. And then, so I went to the bathroom, grabbed my camera, out of battery, and I took them out and both of my ears were bleeding, which I assume because of this thing like against it all night. And I couldn't find one of the back pieces. The other one I found on the floor. And so, yeah, here is that. This little piece right here. It just doesn't stay on. And I think it's because I have very skinny lobes. And so when I sleep on it, it presses against my head. And I guess that pressure, like, snaps. Oops. It snaps the piece off just like that. Oh, my God. Almost went down the sink. So yeah, if you can see, I went back to zero and look at how swollen my ear is. Like this is unnaturally large. And this side isn't as bad, but it's still really swollen. But this one is real bad. Like it looks like my plug is sitting off center, but it's not. My ear is just humongous. So there is that. And so, yeah, I mean, I did try to, like, put them on either way. Like, obviously, it comes this way um, in the package. And then I was also like, well, maybe it fits better this way. And, oh, it fell off because it's broken. So, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to pry it apart. But the ring's broken. Now, since I can only find this one, I don't know where the other one is. So, is that one broken too? I don't know. But, yeah, that's just really disappointing and really aggravating because my next size would have been 2.4, which is the equivalent of a double zero. And now I have to go back to zero. And it was really not anything that I did wrong. Because honestly, like, I know that if I tore my ear or I ripped it or anything or I stretched too fast, I would know the next day. It would, like, be like this the next day, but instead it has taken almost seven days. And I really believe that the fact that this part came out in my sleep and I was just, like, sitting on it and I was laying, because I lay very heavily on my sides when I sleep, which is probably the worst thing because I have a ton of piercings. But it's just really upsetting. I mean, it's not upsetting, but like, it's just like, ah, uh, really? Like, I could have just gone forward and not, you know, have to, have to take that step backwards and to be dealing with this right now. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's not all bad. I do think the system is pretty ingenious. But there are just some things that 
I think are like kind of kinks and they need to and they could be improved upon. I was going to actually not talk about this until the end when I was going to do a full review but because this happened I feel the need to make a video about it now and you can actually see the broken um, back piece more clearly now that it's on the the plug you can see right here is where the split in the ring is so now I can't use this but that's okay because when the other um because in the other size the 2.1 when it kept falling off i used an o-ring anyway i should have just continued doing that i shouldn't have trusted that this thing would stay on for the rest of the sizes i don't know why i did that that was really dumb of me but now i know so i'm just going to be using o-rings for the rest of the sizes i'm not even going to bother with the front or the end caps because they just don't stay on and I don't need this happening to me again because that is bad. My ear has never been that big um, <laughs> and my ear has been irritated and infected a lot because I'm just a sensitive person and my body just like freaks out over everything. So yeah, so there is that. I mean, I'm still going to keep on using them. But I'm definitely going to be more aware and more careful because this is not okay. Not okay at all. And it's just very disappointing. Uh, that's it for right now. And I am going to try this again when my ear isn't like this large. So, yeah, until next time. See you guys later. Bye bye.